Hello and welcome, let's play Heart of Iron 3, their finest hour as Luxembourg. So we are still at war with the, <coughs> with the Soviets. Gonna, I'm trying to peace out with them because I wanna get rid of my puppet if they accept the peace treaty. Majority of the puppet will be annexed. Let's see how that goes. In the meantime, we're about to annex Argentina. Round attack tactics. Good stuff. Let's attempt to grab those that division. Need to go a bit up Brazil. Okay, the game just crashed, and uh, because I've I put my mouse over the the um, Luxembourgish flag. Let's wait for the surrendering, for the surrender of of Argentina. Because they're about to surrender. Another um, tactical bomber. I wanted to bomb the Soviets, strategically bomb them. But I'm not feeling very confident because they have a pretty big air force. bombing the shit out of my troops. Okay, there we go. We've annexed Argentina. So their ships are gone. Let's, let's strategically deploy everyone over here. is now supplied from Quebec. 226 nodes away. This is gonna be a freaking nightmare. It's gonna be a freaking nightmare to supply everyone. Supply the, um, these ships. Let's go pick up these divisions. While we wait for everyone to strategically deploy two ports, more rebels. Let's give this to, uh, to the anti-partisan headquarters. To hopefully keep all these dudes at the front lines. Let's do attacking stance, shall we? I need 
needs and uh, that reduces the supply consumption. To lead this army. The theater headquarters, I mean. Let's find another general. Okay, it is great to lead the air army group. This guy reduces the supply um, consumption because he's a logistics wizard. Minus 25% supply consumption, so that translates into minus 12.5% supply consumption to everyone under him. Good, the armored cars just became more useful. Let's go pick up those guys. I think we can rebase over here. Central planning. Great stuff. I just want to be treated with these guys. A be treated that will make me lose a puppet. Whatever. Okay, let's bomb think regions again. Rebase over there and pray that we still have fuel barely. So let's give this to the anti partisan US. Whatever. Divisions too, these divisions are too big. Get rid of this course and army.
sorry, not much to say. Not much to say. I'm gonna try to finish off Brazil. Only a few countries are left in the world. Maybe if I manage to get rid of um, of the Soviets, communist China, and I declare war on the nation on nationalist China, they will conquer my puppet for me. I don't know. I just know that I want to get rid of him. We cannot release puppets in Hearts of Iron 3, their finest hour, so... Are you kidding me? He's bugged again. Antwerp. See your true color. I don't understand, why would you send a division over there? Whatever, it's just one. And another one over here. It's not a huge deal. Okay, it seems we have... Uh, we are more powerful than the Soviets in this front, so with that in mind... Let's do... let's use Blitzing Sense. Here, I'm gonna take a chance and invade Brazil by sea. We do have 43 landing crafts, so if we manage to hold against the Imperial Japanese Navy, maybe we can hold against the Brazilian Navy too. I guess we'll soon find out. Is mostly mechanized. guys are not bombing. They need to be bombing. Okay, so far so good. Just a sub. Wonderful, let's rebase in Sao Paulo. 
Agora com vai do São Paulo. So this should be the end of our issues with supply. At least for the most part. Nope, this is a level 6 port. I thought it was a level 10. Divisions somewhere. Yeah, the paratroopers. Whatever. Let's focus on what's going on here. Keep an eye on the multi roll stack. Another dude behind. Take more VPs. Go take for more VPs. I'm wasting most of the IC. I, I don't have anything to build. Besides infrastructure. is not that big so I don't know how useful infrastructure is gonna actually be but since we're wasting the IC it doesn't hurt to build it quite the opposite and we can build it fast I don't know what it is, but I like to see level 10 infrastructure in Africa. It's funny.
Okay, this will do for now. Don't wanna bore you to death. Alright. Let's move towards the next VP. We move fast enough, this division won't lock supply. It's all in the green, so this means that we're beating the crap out of the Soviets. Brazil sent all sent all the divisions to, to attack me. So now they're paying the price. One more VP and uh, yeah, we'll be gone. in blitzing, let's select attacking for now This is it for Brazil. Back to the ships, boys. So yeah, that's it for the opposition in the American continent. Anti-partisans, um, anti-partisans, America only, 24 divisions, wow, I know that I've combined a few, but still, I remember that at some point we had like 70, I probably disbanded a few, but I guess we also lost a few. Okay, let's let's um, chill. Let's chill for a while. The point of stopping for a while is to let the air force beat the crap out of the Soviets. in provinces only ground attack should we looks like we're winning let's keep pushing Look at this leadership for J.43. 
officer ratio is going up. Everyone goes over there. So basically, we have Saudi Arabia left, Shibe, Yunnan, Guanxi, and nationalist China, I think, along with Switzerland, Tibet, not much else. September of 1944, so he may be able to pull this off. What's worrying me big time is... Is that puppet? How can I get rid of it? Occupying some Soviet provinces, finally. Definitely pushing them back. No point having the um, airplanes in reserve. Like our superiority is such that, yeah, there's no point. Let's go to speed 5. Keep improving the infrastructure, but at this point I don't think it's gonna make any difference. I may be wrong though. We are gaining some leadership, so this means that we are advancing all territories that we captured and then um, have leadership. We will be able to take advantage of it because it's connected to our capital and it's also in Europe, at least over here. But even if it was in another continent, we would be able to take advantage of it because it's connected to the capital. Uh, 
Let's put this in blitzing again. Give new orders to these guys. Because we're advancing. Quite fast. Attack passive. I'm thinking if I should go reinforce this area or instead go after Vladivostok. I think I'm going after Vladivostok. And uh, after some rebels too. Vladivostok is worth uh, 15 VPs, I think. 10 VPs, so that's that's uh, good, I think. I don't need the mechanized for that, so change of plans. Let's go to Europe. Dump the mechanized. Looking for a place to rebase. So dump the mechanized in um, over here near the Black Sea. And with the infantry, go take out Vladivostok or... You could also go after Leningrad, I'm really unsure, but I'm afraid of the, the Soviet Navy. They have, have, they have uh, battleships, usually they're in the Baltic. I'm gonna take a break. Thanks for watching and um, hope to see you soon. Take care.